and welcome to episode two of Hello Swift, the YouTube mini series. And in this episode, we are going to continue looking at commands. Uh, let's open Playgrounds and get right into it. So if you remember last time, uh, we had a brief introduction and we looked at issuing commands and we made Byte, that's our little alien looking fella here, collect a couple of gems. So today we are going to start with toggling a switch. So, so far we've collected gems. Now we're going to toggle some switches. So just draw your attention here to the switches a second. Uh, closed switches are off and awaiting activation. Open switches are on and show a light in a core. This is our switch and as we can see this is off. And to use these switches we're going to make use of the toggle switch command which is written here. So we need to move byte to the gem. This gem here and continue entering commands to move back to the switch once we've collected this gem and toggle the switch on. So just like before we need to first figure out how much does byte need to move to get to the gem and programming you kind of need to do this a lot you break your your problem your puzzle in this case into small pieces and you solve each smaller piece first and then you combine it to form a larger piece of code which forms the whole puzzle. So my first problem is collecting this gem. As we can see I need to move byte 1, 2, moves forward, have him turn left, move forward one space and then collect the gem. So let's start with that code. Move forward, move forward, Turn left, move forward, collect gem. And let's just hit the run my code and see if that works. So here it is, move forward twice, he's moved left, move forward and collected our gem. Awesome job. So we know that the first part of our problem we can solve. Uh, the next part is where does he go from here? Well, we can see he needs to move forward He's going to need to turn again and then move forward two more times before toggling that switch. So that's right in, move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, and then toggle that switch. Let's run it again and see what happens. He turns, he collects the gem, we knew this would work. There we go. And he toggled the switch. Amazing work guys. So we've done everything we needed to, we've used the new toggle switch command, we solved our problem. So let's move on to the next task. Uh, okay, so up next is uh, teleport through the portal to collect the gem. So for the first challenge, there's a new element in Byte's world, which is a portal that teleports Byte from one place to another. And Byte will be facing the same direction coming out as he is going in. So what that means is, if Byte was facing this direction going into a portal, he would be facing the same direction coming out. Uh, so we need to use all of the commands that we have used previously and in the right order to toggle open the switch and move through the portal and collect the gem. So let's break this down one section at a time. First problem is toggling that switch and we can see we need to move forward one, two, three times then turn, move forward twice and toggle the switch. So move forward 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 three times 
turn left, move forward, move forward, and toggle the switch. That's the first part of our code. Let's run it, see if that solves the first part of our problem. So far so good. Toggle that switch bike. There we go. So the next part of our problem is entering the portal. Well, I'd say it's pretty straightforward to see that we just need to move forward one step. Now when we enter this portal, Byte will come out of this one and he will be facing the same direction. So that's one move forward, two move forwards, and a turn, and two more steps forward before collecting the gem. So, let's try it. Move forward once, and twice, turn, move forward again, and again, and collect that gem. Run that code and see what happens. Well, we know this bit works fine. Toggle that switch bite. There we go. And now he's in the portal. He turns. One, two, and collect that gem. There we go. There's our first challenge solved. So, congratulate yourself. And let's move on. Uh, now this is bug finding. You should have code in there. I've deleted it because my code is the right code. Uh, so what you need to do is run it, see when the mistake occurs, find the command that's in the wrong place, and then change it. So, if you're not sure where to start, let's talk about this here. Byte needs to move forward one, two times. He needs to turn and move forward once, collect the gem, twice, toggle the switch. So the code should look like this. Move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward. Collect gem, move forward, toggle switch. So let's try it. There, that worked. So hopefully you can see what the error in the code was for your project. And how, just by rearranging it, we fix that problem. So let's move on. Now again, you need to find the bug in your code. And my code has already been debugged, I've already found the right code. So I'm just going to talk you through approaching the problem, problem logically. So first off, let's pay attention to this. Notice that one of the switches on this map starts out open. If byte toggles that switch closed, it's a bug in your code. You need all the switches toggled open to complete the challenge. There's a switch toggled closed. And we need that open. But that's already open. So we should probably ignore that one. So our problem, what we really need to do is move here, up these stairs, toggle this switch, enter this portal, and then collect this gem. So that is quite simply, move forward, turn left, forward, toggle the switch, we need to move forward two more times to enter the portal, and then we move forward two more times to collect the gem. Let's see if that works, shall we? There we go, move forward once, turn left, up the stairs, bike goes, 
Oh, that didn't work. Can you spot why? If you can't, I'll tell you. We'll need an extra move forward. So let's run that again. And now we should be fine. There we go. Now he's on the switch. Moves forward. Enters the portal. And one, two, collect that gem bite. There we go. So I just wanted to do that to show you really briefly something quite important. You might think you've got your code right, and it might look right at a glance, but it's always worth running your code, especially in smaller sections, just to test and check it to make sure that it's working all the way. If you just write a piece of code and don't test or check it, you might find that you have bugs to deal with later on. Best to catch them straight at the beginning. Save yourself some headache later, trust me. Uh, okay, once you've done that, and as long as you're happy with everything and understood everything, let's go on to the next task. So here, the challenge is to evaluate the options available and pick the shortest route. So for the last challenge in this lesson, we'll make my, uh, bite, might, who's might? We'll make bite move around in a bigger and a more complicated world than you've seen up to now. Uh, the world has two portal jumps, which has four actual portal pads, two jumps. One jump here, which takes us there, and one jump here, which will take us there. So we need to figure out the shorts route for bike to pick up the gem, this gem here, and toggle open the switch, the switch here. You can use one or both of the portals and you need to use the commands we've learned up until now uh, as well as maybe some debugging skills now this is quite cool i haven't shown you this yet but if you want to change your character you can actually press on bite now this is why mine's different because i changed him uh, you guys i think have this dude but you can pick from one of these three i like this little water drop guy so i'm going to stick with him so what is the shortest route well, typically, the shortest route to anywhere is a straight line. And as we can see, it's a straight line to the gem. That's three steps forward. It's a straight line to this portal, which puts us directly in front of this switch. So I'd say a combination of moves forward. Well, we know this is one, two, three moves forward there, so... When we move forward, I need to collect the gem. And we need to move forward two more times to get to this portal pad, which takes us here. Then it's two more steps forward. And then we should be on that switch, which means we'll toggle the switch. So if you've got that done, let's run that code and find out. He's in the portal. So far, so good. And one, two, and toggle that switch bite. There we go. Congratulations, programmers. You guys have found the shortest route. Well done. Next, we're coming up to functions. This is functions. So I'm going to end this episode here, and then we'll look at functions in its entirety in the next episode. So for now, congratulations, well done. Come back soon for episode three of Hello Swift, and we'll learn all of our functions. Until then, take care guys.